Hello, and welcome to my channel. I don't own any of the Hei Kaiyu characters or music or anything other than the plot. This doesn't in any way describe how the Hei Kaiyu characters act. It is just for fun, so don't take any of this seriously. All of this is happening IRL unless said otherwise. Enjoy. Thinking Bubble represents thoughts. May 11, 2022. Um, faster a. NGH. Kageyama. Oika screams before sitting up in his bed. I can't believe I had a wet dream. How old am I? Oika gets out of bed and heads toward the shower. He strips before grunting as he looks at his wet underwear. I can't believe this happened. Am I turning 16 again? I am too old for this. Oika adjusts the water before rinsing his body. I guess it's been a while since I did it. That explains it. I haven't done anything since that one night stand with Kageyama. Afterward, I got busy. And my little friend couldn't resist so he did it alone. Oika laughs at himself alone before freezing. Kageyama? Wait. How did I get home yesterday? I remember Lev being an idiot, as always. Then leaving. I met Kageyama afterward, but then what? Oika scratches his head as water pours freely on him. Why can't I remember what happened afterward? It's probably nothing. Right? Ugh. Oika grabs his shampoo and starts washing his hair as Kageyama's face pops again in his head. The image of Oika grabbing Kageyama his shirt and kissing him in the hotel lobby flashes in front of him. God, we didn't kiss in the open again. Or did we? Or was that part of my dream? Hold on, don't panic, Toru. Just recall events. Yeah, that will help you remember. Okay, I left the party, then I saw Kageyama with an orange-haired shorty. Was that his boyfriend? No, don't overthink it. He is probably another one-night stand like me. Why does this make my chest hurt a bit? Turo, don't get sidetracked. Afterward, Kageyama approached me. And then? Why can't I remember? Uh, fucking remember. Oika suddenly screams, making his neighbor slam the wall before shouting shut up. I am sorry. Oika screams. Shit, I was loud. What the fuck did I do yesterday? Ugh. Suddenly the water stops. Huh. Oika starts moving the water faucet up and down, but the water doesn't flow. Not the time. Why is my morning this shitty? At least there isn't any more soap in my hair. Oika gets out of the shower and dries himself before getting dressed. He throws his spoiled pants and underwear in the washing machine and starts it. The memory of Oika grabbing Kageyama and kissing him pops again in his head making Oika scream. Damn it. Did I kiss Kageyama again, or I didn't? Why can't I remember if that really happened or not? Wait, in public. Oika snatches his phone and scrolls through it but doesn't see any news. Good. No one caught us this time. That is, if something actually happened. Why am I even frustrated about this? What if something did happen? It's not like it's my first kiss or something. I fucking slept with him before. Ah. This will drive me nuts. Why do I care so much if we kissed or not? Oika sighs before leaving his house. The only person who knows what really happened is Kageyama. Oika drives to Kageyama's team building and parks in front of it. Why am I overthinking this? I shouldn't be here. Kageyama is here. Shit, he is looking at my car. Oika stays seated before he sighs, gets out of the car, and starts walking toward Kageyama. Can we talk? I guess he is still pissed at me from yesterday. What now? Oika looks around before grabbing Kageyama's arm and pulling him in his car's direction. Kageyama doesn't debate and follows Oika. What do you want? It's just if I could remember what happened after we met, I wouldn't be here. 
Kageyama sighs before he snaps. Why each time I talk to you I have to pull each word from your mouth. Sorry. Did I do anything stupid yesterday? Huh? I... You don't remember? Shit, I really did something stupid. Oh, you really don't? Did I really kiss him? Kageyama lifts an eyebrow as he looks at Oikawa, who starts chewing at his nail. I remember meeting you. But I can't recall what happened after that. Oh. So, did I do anything? Kageyama sighs before shaking his head. No, you didn't. Kageyama ruffled Oikawa's hair before he opened his door. Why did he do that? And also, don't worry about me. I won't mention anything to the media concerning your conference. Thank you. Why is my heart beating so fast? Pull your shit together, man. You only know the guy for less than six days. I hate what is this man doing to my heart. After Kageyama gets out of the car, Oikawa picks up his phone. He reads the message from his mom as he feels cold sweats start to drench his entire body. No, he can't. He cannot. They said he would be better. Why is he getting worse? The doctor said he would be better. Oikawa hugs his legs and starts rocking himself. I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. I shouldn't. Oikawa tightens his grip around his knees and continues to rock himself. I am sorry. I am sorry. A warm hand starts to caress Oikawa's hair as he buries his face on his knees. Oikawa. Can you hear me? Oikawa nods while still burying his head on his knees. Look at me. Oikawa shakes his head as Kageyama continues to caress his hair slowly. What happened? All right, you don't have to tell me. I, I am fine. Go to work. You are already late. I am not going. But, Oikawa lifts his head and looks into Kageyama's eyes as Kageyama presses his lips. Kageyama wipes the tears off Oikawa's cheeks before he sighs. Get into the passenger seat. W.Y. I am not allowing you to drive in this state. I, I am fine. Right. Say that without shaking first. Kageyama sighs again and gets out of the car. He walks around the car and opens the door. Oikawa stays silent as he gets out of the car, walks around it, and gets into the passenger seat. Where do you want to go? Oikawa gives Kageyama his address as Kageyama starts the car. Oikawa? Yet? Yeah? I am not gonna pressure you to tell me what happened, but I will listen if you wanna talk. Anytime you want, just call me. I don't even have your number. Oikawa mumbles, making Kageyama smile before Kageyama gives his phone to Oikawa. Then add it. Oikawa presses his lips together as he takes the phone, adds his number, then calls. Now you can call me anytime you want. Thank you. The two stayed silent until reaching the building Oikawa lives in. Why are there so many people here? Shit. Oikawa starts biting the skin near his nail as he watches the crowd of people sitting in front of the building. Do you have any other place to stay? I. I can stay with my manager. Oikawa says as his voice lowers toward the end. But? But I don't want to crash in. He usually doesn't mind. But at the same time, I know I restrict him from his freedom. Stay at my place. What? No. Why not? Kageyama, the rumors about us still haven't died. Yes and? No one knows my apartment. Yes, but my fans always find where I live. So they will find that we are living together and... Then we will need to find out how they keep finding your place. How many times has this happened? About seven times in the last year. Seven? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Tell your manager. And stay with me in the meantime. Kageyama. In the time being, we will find out who keeps leaking your address. Oikawa calls Kuro. Hey. Oikawa-san, is everything fine? Fans found my new apartment. What again? This is getting ridiculous. It's like the seventh time this year. Where are you now? Are you stuck in it? And no. 
I was heading there and saw them. Okay, then drive to my apartment immediately. I am with Kagiyama. Who's Kagiyama? Kagiyama Tobio. The volleyball player? Yet? Yeah. Why are you with him? It's. That's not important now. Just come to my house. Then why did you ask? I will stay with Kagiyama. For real? Yes. Oikasan, I don't think that's a good idea. It's gonna be fine. All right, just be careful. Kiru? Um? Can you get me some of my clothes? Yes, sure. Thank you. No worries. I will sell your apartment in the meantime. But don't buy me anything until we figure out who keeps leaking my address. All right. Kuro? Yet? Don't tell anyone that I am not staying in my apartment. Yet, don't worry. I have been digging into who has been leaking your info for a while. I will stay careful. Kagiyama and Oika stayed silent for the rest of the ride until reaching Kagiyama's building. As Oika enters Kagiyama's apartment, he takes in the subtle decode of the room. Consider yourself at home. Are you planning to stay standing there? Are you sure I am not gonna impose? I am sure. Oika sighs before entering the living room and sitting on the couch. Kagiyama frowns before smirking. Why are you stiff like a statue sitting over there? I'm. Kagiyama's phone starts to ring, grabbing his attention. Kagiyama answers it but immediately removes his phone from his ear. Calm down, Iwezumi san. It's just one practice. Kagiyama starts to say as he enters the room next door and shuts the door. I was saved by that call. Why the hell am I getting nervous? This is so not like me. I swear, I am getting possessed by 16-year-old me. I didn't even used to panic this much around boys back then. Why am I this nervous? Oikawa sighs as thoughts of earlier pop into his head. How could I allow him to see me in this panic state? Damn it. Oikawa grabs his hair as he scratches his scalp. Have you lost it? Kagiyama? Oikawa shoots to his feet as his face turns tomato red. I. Kagiyama smirks as he approaches Oikawa. Oikawa gulps before stepping back. The doorbell grabs Kagiyama's attention as he frowns. That's probably my manager. Kagiyama nods before opening the door. Oikawa-san, are you sure this is a good idea? It's fine. Oikawa glances at Kagiyama, who was preparing tea in the small kitchen across the room. Kuro sighs before looking at Kagiyama too. You won't trouble me if you stay with me. I know why you don't want to stay with me, but... It will be fine. Don't worry. Kagiyama places the tea cups in front of Oika and Kuro. You don't have any work for today so rest well. I will pick you up tomorrow at 3 a.m. Shooting will start at 4. All right. And sorry for causing you trouble. Not at all. It's not your fault. Kuro bows before he leaves. Kagiyama? Um? Where can I put my stuff? My room? What? Where will I sleep? My bed? What? No. Why are you acting like that? I will sleep on the couch. Well, suit yourself. But it's not comfortable. I don't understand why you will. It's just sleeping. We did much more. Kagiyama says as he pulls Oika closer to him. Oika's face heats up more as Kagiyama's face gets closer to him. T that's exactly why I don't want to sleep with you in the same bed. Kagiyama laughs before stepping back and ruffling Oika's hair. Continue to act this cute, and you will really have something to worry about around me. I am gonna join the evening practice. Call me if you need anything. Kagiyama says before leaving while Oika's face is still red. Why is my heart beating this fast? What is this idiot doing to me? Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Later guys.